Grant Stegman, Pat here. Hope you are well. Welcome to today's video. This is an interesting one. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but it was one of those things you can only do after a certain time. Now, I made a video, a review of this here, Dyson Hot and Cool. It's, it's a app controlled fan. It also heats and it has a filter, a HEPA filter in there. Now, there's been a lot of discussion on that video about what it actually can and cannot do. I still think this is an overpriced product that isn't worth the plastic it's made of. It's over $600 for not specifically this one, but the current version of a fan like this. It is ridiculously expensive and it can do two things. It can be a fan, bladeless of course, and it can heat and it has a filter here that's supposed to filter out dangerous chemicals, um, things out of their air in your house. Now my belief the whole time was this is such a small device. I mean, look back to full on hospital HEPA filters. They are running 24 seven with large vents, large system, lots of fans, and they actually are doing the job. This is very small and I just doubt the validity of what they do, but I wanted to do a short video of what this fan's HEPA filter looks like after three years of continuous use. Now, how do I know it's been three years? Well, I mean, I'm, it's about 2.8. Yeah, three years ago, I bought this, I did a review, and since then, it has been in our bedroom, constantly plugged into the wall. It never gets unplugged, and one of the features of this fan is that it's continuously on filtering and cycling air, and you can barely hear it. You can't actually hear it at all if you're further away. You have to be sort of next to it to hear it. So even though you don't have the fan on or the heater on, it's continuously cycling air very slowly in your room. It's kind of trying to achieve what I mentioned with the hospital. It's trying to achieve the air filtration system by constantly being on. Now I have uh, terrible grass allergies and this has not helped one single bit for me. However, that's not to say it can't help other people. Maybe if you have a child who's got some asthma, if you leave this in the room, you will potentially lower the amount of dust in the room because it's being caught here. But I suggest that vacuuming the room will do much more for it than a filter like this. So it's, I guess, a combination of things. So what I've done, I have never opened this before, um, but what I've done, I've looked up online how to open it, and it literally is pressing on this, these buttons here on the side and lifting that up. So as soon as I lift it, we're gonna see what's inside here. I'm gonna move the camera closer. We're gonna place it on this uh, table here because I wanna see what falls out, uh, if anything falls out, and how the filter looks. Now I've also got a Dyson wireless uh, thing. We won in the competition a little while back. Um, and I'm gonna try and, I suppose, um, vacuum some parts of the HEPA filter for you to compare what it looks like. Now, the app has told me that my HEPA filter does not need replacement yet. It's been three years of continuous use. That's not what the HEPA filter states on its website. In any case, let's get started. Let's see what it is like inside. Now, I guess I could also call this an instruction on how to take apart the Dyson fan. So let's start. There are two little buttons here on the side here that you press into, and there's the same one on the other side that you also press into. When you do press into it, you push and lift. If you press hard enough, it should start popping open. So I'm gonna start lifting this. Oh, there it is. There's the filter. Now I expect this filter to look like this because it's been on for three years. Nobody cares about changing it, but it also means that it's been gathering a lot of dust. Now, if I just sort of dr drag my finger across, yeah, that's a lot of dust there. So what we're gonna do is let's take the filter out itself. There we go. And I'm gonna move the machine back. But as you can see, this is what it looks like. Replace the filter when necessary, it says on the side. And what else does it say here? It also says here, warning, use only Dyson filters, otherwise they will be damaged. Now, the interesting thing I wanna tell you guys is inside here, no dust at all, nothing. It's clean and you'd, you'd think it wouldn't be because you know over three years, this filter has actually been doing its job and you, you wouldn't think that. You don't, people don't sort of realize that maybe 
sometimes filters work actually work now I don't know what it looks like inside the actual fan blades and I don't really care but the HEPA filter has certainly been doing its job so let's put that to the side now there it is hello fan and let's bring this into view a bit more here we go now as soon as I touch it I've got dust on my hands and I want to sort of show you the inside of it that's what it looks like on the inside and what I'm gonna do is gonna lightly tap it you see it leaves a little ring so yes there's dust on it now let's take the vacuum and compare one of the sides as I do this now what I'd like to you notice here is after a slight clean the color here is fully white now you can see these lines here these are lines from the plastic where the actual air is not touching and therefore it is white this actual filter here's a picture of the filter of a new filter Oop, right here there show the picture here and compare it to here if I continue cleaning it I will get a nice white filter now with movie magic we're back I have received the new filter and I wanted to show you guys what it compares to the one that's in the box here um, I had to wait a little while I actually thought it was gonna arrive much earlier but it honestly didn't um, but you know that could be due, due to the COVID stuff um, so that's always a, an, an issue when you're ordering something that you might need fast well, at the moment anyway but as you can see this looks exactly like the one we saw before um, it's a different color but all we'll do we'll try and swap it out um, and see if anything changes oh there you go come on come out now it's still a little bit dusty in there I think oh come on man oh there we go um, so I didn't want to clean it because I read that you once a HEPA filter is done it's done um, you know you can de-dust it a little bit like I did this I vacuumed it but as you can see over the years it has certainly got a little bit darker um, it has certainly picked up a whole lot of stuff um, now like I said earlier I don't necessarily believe it can pick up you know viruses or anything like that um, but you know it is what it is now this was $30 from Amazon uh, free delivery with Prime now quality wise this new one uh, doesn't feel as tough as this one it might not be as good but I think at this stage this is really only catching dust I don't really think it's gonna catch, you know, catch anything more than that. Pollen, obviously. But at the end of the day, I don't think this is gonna be a saving grace if you have like very heavy allergies. Um, it is gonna reduce the dust in the air, that's for sure. And that's really what I think they should be talking about. It's not gonna remove smells from your house. It's not going to re you know, remove fumes. This isn't certainly not what it's going to do. There you have it folks, it is back in there and we're ready to go. This Dyson is now clean, this can go in the bin. So you have to replace these filters twice a year and if the cost of $30 for this specific model, you're looking at $60 a year. It's not too much, but if you don't replace it often enough, you're going to lose the actual quality of what this is supposed to do. Now most filters on the market are designed to capture particles like dust and pollen but don't catch gases like VOC, so volatile organic compounds or radon for example if you're living in America. That would require an absorbent like an active carbon. In fact the Environmental Protection Agency warns that functionality of air purifiers is limited to terms of filtering out gases and that you most frequently replace the filters for optimal functionality usually about every three or so months so even more than twice a year so while many air purifiers so while many air purifiers are good at filtering pollutants particles out of the air dust smoke pollen etc they're not necessarily very good at removing gaseous pollutants like VOCs and radon from the air that may accumulate from adhesives paints or cleaning products allergens that are embedded into the furniture or flooring are also not captured by them. Additionally, the effectiveness of air purifiers in real world situations likely won't mimic those of controlled conditions in a lab where Mr. Dyson is testing. So what about those 99% effectiveness claims? What are they referring to? Well, it's the location, installation, flow rate, and how long it is operating will all vary, as will the conditions in the space. In addition, there are other things happening in your home that may affect the efficiency, like ventilation, open or closed windows, and new particles are constantly emerging, so the air may not 
get filtered as the claims may have you believe. For example, if you're concerned about mold, I would recommend getting a dehumidifier or a humidifier to help maintain the appropriate moisture levels in your home and stave off mold growth issues. You first have to eliminate the source of the moisture that is allowing it to grow. So, on summary, do the air purifiers actually work? Are they a cure? at all. Well, there is very little medical evidence to support air purifiers directly help improve your health or alleviate allergies and respiratory symptoms. That's due in part to the fact that it is very difficult to separate the effects of known air quality pollutants in your home from other environmental and genetic factors. For instance, how are the furnishings and ventilations in your home affecting you in addition to any indoor pollutants? But if you have an allergy or asthma sufferer or an air purifier with a HEPA filter, it may be helpful to you as it will be good at removing fine airborne particles. And friends, that is where I'm going to leave it here. This is not a save all be all end all cure to your air problems. There are many other issues. And if you have a home with a built in HEPA filter around your whole home, an industrial HEPA filter, you will get better results than something like this that costs a ridiculous amount of time and it is just a fan with a HEPA filter. Friends, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys in another one. Um, like, let me know below what you think, comment, and if you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing and I'll catch you another one. Bye!